guys, welcome back to Get Jabby. I'm a Chara Cook and I'm joined by Natasha Martinez. Hello! Just the girls. Mm. And Just the girls, what? Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> but, uh, that's my contribution to the freestyle was yes. a snap. <laughs> that's about all I can do. Um, so we're gonna check out the first guy to ever celebrate Christmas by Ryan George. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited Me to see this. Me too. He is so funny. He's super funny. And Jabby <laughs> says this is hilarious. Oh good, I'm I mean, excited. Setting the bar pretty high. <laughs> but I'm sure we're gonna have a good laugh. I'm okay, it. let's check it out. Hey boss, what's up? I was uh, wondering if I could get a little time off work. Could you be feeling sick or something? No, 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 no. There's just there's this guy that I'm that I'm pretty into, like romantically. No, 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 no. <laughs> this guy, this guy passed away like a long time ago, like a couple thousand years. So, so what are you? I'm just like I'm really into his whole thing. He had a lot of cool stuff to say, I think. And you need time off for like a memorial? No, it's like more of a more of a birthday thing. You're having okay. a birthday party for this guy who can't physically be there? That's right. I mean, I guess if it's important to you. Also, I'd like a bonus. A bonus? Why? I don't know. Maybe that could be part of it. So I should give you some extra money? Yeah, yeah, maybe that's part of it. Are you uh, gonna give me anything? Well, no, that's not part of it. Oh, okay, well, anyway, thank you, bye. Bye. Uh, wait, I'm gonna give a myself gift? a bonus. <laughs> Hey, son, good news. What? Well, what's going on? Oh, now? my God. We're going out of school. We're having a, like a party, like a celebration. Whoa, 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 what are we celebrating? The birth of a man I read about who lived a long, long time ago. He's not alive anymore? Not physically, no. <laughs> what so happened weird. to him? He was killed. It's very disturbing. <laughs> Betrayed and killed, said the book. Uh, I don't think I want to go to this party. Oh, I scared you, huh? No, it's gonna be fun. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna get uh, presents. Really? Yeah, you know, if that helps with you not telling your mom what just happened, sure. Are you bribing me? What? No, that's not... These gifts aren't, aren't even from me. Well, who are they gonna be from? The birthday guy? Well, no, because you're scared of him now. They'll be from uh, from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from an old man. An old man? <laughs> what old man? You, uh, you don't know him. He's uh, just... He's an old man, and he's... Uh, overweight. He's got a beard. What's his name? His name? His name is uh, Claus. Claus? It's it's Nick. It's Nicholas. Nicholas Claus? It's for, it's it's Chris. Uh, it's Chris now. Chris Kringle. It sounds like you're making this up, Dan. <laughs> no, 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 no. His name's Chris Kringle. He's an old man, and he's gonna break into our house tonight. What? To forget to bring you gifts. Shut up. Uh, I don't want an old man to break in. No, no, no. This uh, he's a he's a very very nice old man. Some people might say jolly. Jolly? Is that a word that people say? Not really, no. Uh, <laughs> okay. Is he just giving gifts to me? I just wanted us to have a day off. What? Uh, nope, that would be weird if it was specific to you. <laughs> so, he, nope, he gives gifts to everybody, everybody, all the little girls and boys. In the world? Yeah, no. Yeah. How, how is that possible? He, for, he flies, okay? He flies. <laughs> he flies. No, that doesn't work. He has animals. The animals fly. So how is he going to know what to get me? Should we call him? Nope, can't call him. Can we, like, go see him? Just, just write him a letter, okay? He lives far uh, out west. Oh, he lives out west. We could go see him when we go visit Uncle Jeremy. Did I say west? I meant extreme north. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, are we, are we good? I guess. Okay, good. And what does this guy have to do with that birthday guy? Uh, you know, not so much anymore. <laughs> I'll grant you that. And what should I ask for? Just anything your heart desires, under like 50 bucks. <laughs> Although, you know, I'd suggest asking for a razor because you have a full beard growing in. Okay, <laughs> Hi there. Hello, it's me. I'm the astronaut. So, I'm out here in oh Adspe. My God. Oh my God. That was amazing because it's just like so true. We take Christmas traditions and mm -hmm. like the story and the meaning of Christmas with like Jesus. Yeah, that's totally normal. That's very literal. And then you have Santa Claus who <laughs> is this completely different entity and was like, I, I believe he was some sort of pagan thing. There are so many different iterations of Santa Claus yeah. and through different cultures and blah, blah, blah. And even countries that are not even Christian. Like I grew up in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Thais love celebrating Christmas. <laughs> We're not Christian. <laughs> We're Buddhist. It's like, oh, an excuse to give a gift? Yeah. Sounds like a good time. And a party? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm there. It's just so funny. I grew up Catholic, and mm -hmm. so I went to Catholic school, did everything, confirmed, all that stuff, and there was a similar situation where I was talking to one of my friends, and her boyfriend is Coptic Christian, so they celebrate Christmas, like, I think, like eight days later. And it's oh. basically when Jesus was born and then there's the three wise men that come and like get, present him gifts. Right. But she, I forget what religion she is, but she is not Christian at all. And she was like, 
trying to understand this story of like, yeah, well, he was born in a manger in the middle of nowhere, and then these three old wise men followed the star to come give him gifts, and that's why they slept. And I could just see her face slowly just being like, what? Like, but then these were all things that I just like grew up being like, oh yeah, that's totally true. And that's why I loved this video so much because it's like the same thing. It's like, yeah, like let's celebrate this birthday and then the Santa Claus thing is hilarious. Like, oh like, my it's god. It's actually true. Like that's it's not so... really related. Yeah. It somehow is, but like so far removed that you're like, why? Yeah, <laughs> and I love the way he did it too, because he was just like you could see him having the thoughts of like, okay, uh yeah, he lives west. Uh, no, did I no. say west? I meant yeah, north. north. Like, and it just seems so real that this parent would be just trying to get out of a weird situation with a child and then just inventing like, an even weirder situation. Snowballing the lie to then become this like huge thing in culture. Like all yeah. around. It's like, yeah, this is totally real. Yeah, this is so real. <laughs> but I think the thing that kind of disturbed me and cracked me up the most was just the child yeah like the way he did that because I was not expecting that I was at not all. expecting that either I literally was like oh my god like I was like shocked like there's this baby with facial hair and crazy eyes it's, like with the missing teeth yeah like the missing teeth was and, and I don't know how he did it but like the eyes they'd move around the right way and then there were even moments when they got bigger and then smaller and I was just like, like what? He's like confused, they get smaller. This is so weird. It was very weird. <laughs> but really funny and just like a nice way to put things into perspective about like Christmas and like what is the point of Christmas? To give gifts. To and give receive gifts. them. To like the real gifts. point is like, yeah, for like Jesus' birthday. Yeah, we get so wrapped up in like Christmas, Christmas, like yeah. presents this, and it's like really you you hear it and you're like, that's ridiculous. Like this should just be about a time to be with your family, mm -hmm. love one another. Mm -hmm. If you give gifts, great. If you can't give gifts, fine. No problem. No problem. It's just about being present and like celebrating like the holiday. But it just this was well, well executed. Yeah, I loved it. I am such a huge fan of his. Of like, his, yeah. I thought you were going to say you were a huge fan of Christmas. Oh, I am also a huge <laughs> fan of Christmas as well. Although, I do feel like it gets more stressful as I get older. Do you feel that way? I don't know. I think for me, because I have way less family and people to buy gifts for and stuff, mm -hmm. it's less stressful. Yeah. But, but the times when I've gone home for the holidays, yeah. oh my god. Like, how do you even know what to get people, and especially adult people? That's the thing. And then with kids, if your friends have kids or whatever, you have to do the whole thing where you're like, wait, who's getting them what? Yeah. I don't want to get them the, the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. And then they're like, oh no, I want this thing. I'd like a new MacBook, please. I'm like, you're definitely not getting a new MacBook from me. <laughs> like, don't even try Was that. Was there ever a gift that you really, really wanted that you didn't get when for, you were little for Christmas? For Christmas? Yeah, definitely. I wanted rollerblades rollerblades and I didn't get rollerblades and then I also I discovered that Santa wasn't real mm -hmm. the moment I opened up my gifts and I had a Sweet Valley High book uh -huh. and it had a price tag from my local bookstore oh. in it and I was like, like Santa doesn't Dad, shop Dad <laughs> why would it come from the shop oh my dad's like my God. uh because the elves go shopping at the mall. And I was like, yeah, You're like, nice uh, one. Negative. No, they yeah. don't. Yeah, no. In my family, it was like, there came a point when it's like, we were all old enough, obviously, to know that, yeah, yeah I feel like I'm going to ruin things. But <laughs> for any children that may be watching or believers still, but like, we just knew, like, okay, like, our parents get the gifts. Like, yeah. But my parents would always say, if you don't believe, you don't receive. Oh. And see, I always wanted to receive some gifts, so I didn't care. I was like, what did Santa bring me this year? What should I ask Santa for this year? Like, to this day, we're still like, oh, Santa got me this. Oh, like, that's cute. It's kind of cute, that's but yeah, it's cute. fun. I remember, though, when I was younger, I really wanted a sidekick. Do you remember those phones? They looked like little Game Boys, honestly. Right. But Juicy Couture made a sidekick. And when I was in high school, Juicy Couture was all the rage. Yep. Like, it was like, if you had anything juicy, you were cool. Yep. So I really wanted this phone, and I wasn't allowed to have a cell phone when I okay. was in high school. So I asked Santa for it, thinking maybe he would give it to me. <laughs> but you were in high school. Yeah, I was in high school. Okay. I was still holding on to the dream. <laughs> And I uh, didn't get it from Santa, and I remember crying. Like, I was like, why didn't I get the phone? And my, oh my mom God. got so mad at me. Like, she was like, do you realize that there are kids that don't get 
any presents and you just got a whole bunch of presents and you're crying over this cell phone she yeah. put me in my place and I was like okay I'm never complaining again about any other gift ever <laughs> But I'm glad yeah. she did that. I'm no, glad she was like, uh, you're crazy. Like, you do not deserve everything in the world just because you asked Santa for it. Exactly. And I feel like that's kind of the direction it's gone a lot of the time, especially here in the West where it's become really commercialized and it is all about gifts when, like you say, it really yeah. should be about family, spending yeah. time with family. But I think sometimes kids have a hard time understanding that and it's Definitely. just like another opportunity to get gifts that's not your birthday exactly so uh, yeah. it's stressful times though and i haven't done any christmas shopping oh me neither so uh i'm gonna be the times one are running yeah. out. <laughs> i'm gonna be the one in like the store just being like anything i'll take anything <laughs> give me that ugly scarf yeah I'll the ugly it. scarf give me all the socks everyone's getting socks this year okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> You heard it here. You heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with us. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And please do follow Ryan George and give him a like on his video. Definitely. And follow Natasha yes! on her Instagram. And she's also got a YouTube. I am. Newly on YouTube, guys. Yes. So uh, subscribe to her there and follow her antics and her yes. everyday <laughs> daily life. And uh, yeah, and follow here. Uh, I'm Achara Kirk. This is Natasha Martinez. Ciao. Bye.